Hello, this week we're going to go over opening levels in Unreal and having the player spawn at different locations depending on where they entered from. Right, to start off, we're going to need a new blueprint of the type Game Instance. Giving that a name for me, this is going to be BP underscore Game Instance. Now in this instance, we're going to make one variable and that will be called location and it will be of the type name. Next, we can open up the level blueprint. And then we can call our event begin play. Then we can get our game instance and cast to BP underscore game instance. Off that we can get our location variable. As well as getting all actors of a class and this type is going to be the player start. Now we're just going to look through them all with a for each loop. And get our player start tag. And then we just need to compare the tag with the location variable. If they are equal, then off the array element, we can get our actor's location and promote it to a variable, and we're just going to call that spawn point. Now, off the completed pin, we're going to set our actor's location. The new location will be the spawn point. The target actor will just get our player character for now. Now in our map, if we click our player spawn, we can see in the details under objects, you'll find the player start tags. You should put a name here that you're going to be using for a naming convention. The name you use here should start off your naming convention. So for me, that's going to be spawn underscore one. And I'll just increase this number for each one. Before I forget, in our BP game instance, we should set our location's default value to the first spawn point. So spawn underscore one for me. Now with that done, we can set up the last blueprint. So let's create a new blueprint of the type actor and call it bp underscore load level. Now add a component, we'll need a box collision. And then we'll call it begin overlap event. Now to make sure that it's the player running into this collision, we're going to compare the other actor and we're going to see if it's equal to the player character and see if it's true. Now we're going to need the game instance so we can get that and then cast to it. I'm also going to promote this to a pure because I know this should never fail. Now off the cast, set our location and promote the input pin into a variable. We can set this to be exposed and editable on spawn. Next, we can call open level by name. 
and promote the level name to a variable as well, as well as setting this to be exposed and instance editable as well. Last window that we're going to need to open is the project settings. Under maps and mode, change the game instance to our custom one. Now let's set this up. I'll create two spawn points, setting their tags to be spawn underscore one and spawn underscore two. Now I'm also just going to quickly make four door frames so you can have a reference to where we're moving and coming from. And I'm going to place the player start in two of them and the open level in the other two. The last thing we need to do is in the BP underscore load level. We're going to set the location, which will be our player start tags and the level's names. We're just going to open up the third person map and have the player spawn at one of two locations depending on the door that we enter. Now mine's not working because in the BP underscore load level the check overlap actor needs to be a reference to the player character and not just a BP underscore third person character reference here. Now we can test this again and see that it's working fine. So now I'm going to call this done, but thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.